Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. If the camera and stuff seems a little shaky, it's because I'm moving. So today I decided it was time to clean and reorganize this hot mess situation behind me. It's a task every week when I'm filming to clean this up before I actually film for you guys. So I decided why not show you my process of doing it and kind of what I do. And this whole shelf I wanna kind of reorganize completely, not just clean up. So if you're excited to see how this nice little clean out situation turns out, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so we're gonna be focusing on this, this area. There's a dresser over here that is basically my husband's situation and I'm not even gonna touch that. Not even gonna touch it. So today we're basically focusing on this area and the walls and then the bookshelf, which we will do afterwards. I hope this lighting is okay with you guys. I have all my studio lights like pushed and it just seems like they're not, it's not as bright as I would like it, but this is what we got. So I have you on a little mini tripod we're gonna work, we're gonna figure it out. So, I don't know where to start. I hate cleaning. Once I get started, I'm pretty good at it. Like, I'll just move stuff around and then I'm like, okay, cool. But getting started is ridiculous. Like, all this crap, this is all my husband's stuff. He just tosses it on my makeup dresser and I'm like, why? And then this is all of my nifty, cool receipts that I have to keep and stuff for taxes. And then we have another tripod and this right here is another studio light that I don't really use. I keep them up on my makeup stand just because it keeps them out of the way because I don't have a lot of space in this bedroom. Hopefully within the next year that will change. This is a PlayStation ah! that again is not mine. All right, so this carries all of my hair stuff. So we're going to put it over on the floor because my hair stuff's over there trash so this is a nail a professional nail drill if you guys haven't seen my latest video where i was telling you i kind of fudged up my nails this is the nail drill i bought and it is freaking amazing and i'm pretty sure it was like 50 bucks on amazon worth every penny works well but uh be careful dirty makeup erasers So these are new socks that I recently bought and I don't know if I'm the only person that does this. When I get new socks, I don't put them in my drawer. I wear them instantly and then I kind of recycle through my old socks. I don't know why I do that. And eventually I'm gonna do like a reorganization of my actual makeup drawers, but until I get my new background, it's kind of pointless because I'm not gonna reorganize just to turn around and reorganize again. But I'm working on all this makeup. I have to keep out because it's for another video so maybe you need a basket for that ah. all right so this is basically a like what i'm using right now skincare wise so this is So now it's nice and organized. So basically it's what I use where like these things I don't really use that much so I don't know how they got in there. And this is the newest KKW fragrance that I've bought. I know it's not the newest one she has. This is Olive. This is the Kendall Jenner collection and oh, this smells so good. I will tell you I smelt the blue one and the yellow one and they smelt like trash. I'm not gonna lie. This smelt so good, but that's gonna be for cleaning all that later. So this is my shower bag. This is a Huda bag I got for the Huda mystery bag. And I just have like my body wash, my scalp scrub, my skin scrub, 
my face exfoliator and my razor. The reason I do this is because unfortunately in this small house we only have one bathroom and there are six of us so we each have our own little shower caddies so the bathroom isn't cluttered with stuff. All right and then down here I know it's kind of hard to see me because it's dark. This is my monitor. So that's my monitor that I use while I'm filming. So this is like rocks and stuff that I used to use in this container to hold my face brushes before they got out of hand. And I had to get a bigger like container. So I'm trying to, I wanna save these for, I don't know. Eventually I'm gonna have something to put in here. So I don't wanna throw it out. This is a board that I got from Madison for her YouTube videos. And she wrote me all these nice things on it cause she hasn't wanted to start yet. So she wrote all these nice things on it. Like, love you mom, happy to be 30. Hope you have a nice day and night. Do your hair most days. Don't do your makeup because you don't need it. Love you. Make sure you don't let people be mean to you like me. She believes me, that's why, and she knows it. But it's so cute, and I haven't been able to erase it, so I keep it, I'm gonna keep it on my dresser until she uses it for her own YouTube. And then I have a humidifier, which I have to use, especially when I can't breathe because of the pollen. So these are lights that I, for the life of me, cannot get off my dresser. So I put these on before I tried them, and with all of my studio lights, you can't really see it, so it doesn't work. And unfortunately, they're not reusable, so if you get these off of Amazon, just be mindful. If you have studio lights, they're not gonna work real well, and they're not reusable because once you stick them down, you can't get that stuff out. Like, if you see this black line, that's the sticky part that has come off of here, the adhesive. So now I've wasted light, and I had this god-awful sticky situation, which I don't know how to get off. So if you guys know how to get this stuff off, that would be great. And then I have to go in here and organize these real quick before I move them. So I have a very specific way that I organize my brushes, and if they're not kept to that way, I get, like, really irritated. And then now it's nice and organized for when I'm filming. But also while I'm filming, I will just shove them in there to clean them up instead of, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do with them. So now we're gonna clean this down, which I'll probably just fast forward through this because I mean, it's just me cleaning. There we go. And now this is all clean and ready to go. Now we're gonna move on to the bookshelf. So this is basically, this is my hair stuff. This is my put whatever up here stuff. This is my collecting stuff, my electronic stuff. It's so much crap here. I just, I don't know what to do with all of it. And I'm just like, ugh. So I guess we'll start with up here. So this is the ABH like lip gloss vault basically one of the sets that they did and I don't really use it I just kind of use it as decor but I gotta figure out what I'm doing with it so this is all my collector color pop stuff the Lizzie McGuire the Sailor Moon collection etc that I don't plan on using I just have it candle don't really light it anymore I don't know. Let me get rid of it. This is just a candle that I found long, long time ago at TJ Maxx, I believe, that has a J, and I just love that. I might put a shelf here. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. So these are just, these used to care, hold my eye brushes, but they're right and done holders. I just, I have too many, too many brushes. So this is a beautiful gift that I got from a friend of mine, and it just holds like my rings and some bracelets and little earrings that I cannot hang. And then I have another one from Sephora that I don't really use. I might get rid of this one. So this sign is extremely important to me and I've been holding it for many years. Back in 2015 when I started YouTube, my husband got me this sign, I think it was for Christmas, and he was like, one day 
you're gonna put this in your beauty room and you're gonna love it and that day has not come yet a full just beauty room this is my bedroom slash makeup area and I'm holding on to it because one day when I do have my own beauty room and I'm doing big things and my YouTube is just growing and awesome I'm reaching my goals and my dreams I'm gonna have this in a shadow box just to remind me that like he supported me every step of the way like every step of the way I can't be more thankful so if you guys are not new I did a whole perfume collection uh, I can link that up here if you guys want to check it out because I'm not gonna go through which ones are which or whatever but this one is my favorite and I said that in there one of my kids broke it so the like the ruby top or the gem top is no longer on here so I just have the little clasp, which sucks because this is my favorite ever perfume. That's the Courtney one for the KKW, the first sister collection they did. It's my all time favorite one. So I'm just basically gonna move these down, probably fast forward through this, just so I can wipe the shelf down and figure out how I wanna organize this. I don't know, we'll see. Here we go. Also, if I'm getting like red and toasty, it's because this room is so hot and I cannot have a fan on or all you guys will hear is <laughs> during the whole thing. So I'm trying to be as respectful to your, your ears as possible, but I am burning up because usually when I'm in front of the studio lights, I'm just sitting being, you know, not as productive, but now I'm moving around in front of the studio lights and I'm so hot. I'm gonna scoot it down just a schminge, but I'm gonna face it more towards the stuff so you can't like stare at everything like my double chin. Get my double chin out of the shot. I guess it's just gonna have to be what it is. Double chin for life. Double chin for life. So this has to stay my hair shelf because it has a lot, a lot of like tall things that just, um, oh, what? Oh, mm, I might not reach, I might not be able to reach the back though. That doesn't seem very convenient, but basically I'm just going to move all this up. Ah! I have so much hair stuff. If you guys want to see a video where I go through all my hair stuff, let me know down below and I will get it up for you. So I'm basically just gonna clean this one and re-put my hair stuff here because I can't, I think that being up there, it's too tall for me to reach. And then on top of that, my daughters use my hair stuff. So I feel like it would kind of compromise them being able to reach hair stuff. I think I'm gonna organize it by product type. I absolutely love this brand, Girls With Curls. It, I get it from TJ Maxx and it's so inexpensive. I absolutely love it. Much better I think it's completely organized and I got rid of the the sample situation I'm probably not gonna keep that I don't think I'm gonna keep that all right so what's gonna go here I think I am gonna put my perfumes back there Ugh. such a hard thing to decide and I'm just wiping the bottoms so they're not dusty another one of my favorite perfumes and I lost the lid to it I went to use it and I dropped it and I have no idea where it went Ooh, more hair samples texture spray I get a lot of hair samples because I like to try different things before I buy like humongous bottles of them. The problem is with any samples, they just sit, they just sit in here doing nothing. This is a necklace from my girls. 
I originally had this as decor because it came with a cute little spray nozzle, but my girls knocked it off. It's just a setting spray, but I don't use it, so I think I'm gonna give it to my girls. And then I have this tray that I got from TJ Maxx a long, long ago, and it just holds like my bobby pins, my hair ties, small little trinkets like that. It's so cute though. It's such a cute little crystal vibe. Cause back then, like I had a theme, like it was gold and white. Everything was gold and white. So these are books I have, and I think I'm gonna put them up here because I think they just look prettier up here. So we have the Sephora book, we have the Princess Diana book, we have the She Kate Spade book, and then we have the Vogue cover book. I believe most of these I got from TJ Maxx. My husband got me this one, I think. He got me both of these actually, the Princess Di and the Vogue one. I don't remember, I'm pretty sure he got me those. So I'm gonna put that there. I think I'm actually gonna keep these and put one on each side. Cute, right? Cute. This is gonna go back up there because I love this little guy. I think my J candle can go up there. I'm just gonna wipe it down real quick because it looks a little crusty musty. Okay, cute. Are we loving that so far? I think I'm loving that. So, we're on the floor. That's where we are, that's why the light looks like it's like that. Yep, we're on the floor and I'm a mess, okay? I'm hot, I've been doing this for almost two hours and you're gonna see all of like 20 minutes of it. If you come down here, this is the never ending mess that is my hair tools because I'll put it in here and I'm like, oh, so organized. And then I go back in and use things and then just toss it in. I have so many different hair tools, it's not even funny. I probably don't even need this many hair tools, but I do. And again, <laughs> again, 90% of the time, your girl has a messy bun in. So what I do is I take this bag and I just boop, boop, pop it on top so I can just grab it out when I need it. This was my tripod I was using earlier when I was filming. So this is a cute little sign that my husband had made for me. I believe it was from my birthday last year. Yes, my birthday last year. It just has all my children's names on it. It's really, really cute. I just haven't decided where I wanna hang it yet. So it's just been like chilling in here and I gotta find, I think, a way to hang it or I'm just gonna put it up until we move and I have more space to hang it. I haven't decided, but I do absolutely love it. He's the sweetest. I have, this is a Lola, Miss Lola shoe bag. I'm not using it. Oh, Kay might want it though. This is a bra bag, which by the way, I had no idea existed until recently. I think it was a couple months ago, people told me. I had ruined, ruined like three or four hundred dollar bras. <laughs> I had no idea these existed. So I pop my bras in here and wash them that way. These are all headbands that I have, which those go in my hair, my hair situation. And then this, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna. This is just all electronic stuff for filming, TikToks, YouTube videos, streaming, um, God, mic, like I have a $120 mic in here. I don't know how to hook up or use. If anyone knows how to do that, that would be cool. Uh, it's a very nice mic and I don't know how to use it. So it's just been sitting in here. It's a G-Track Pro and it's just been sitting in here because I don't know how to use it. So this is the Pixi Glow Tonic, which if you guys are not new to my channel, it's one of my favorite skincare things. So they sent me this one and it has my name on it, but I haven't used it and I don't think I'm gonna use it just because I love that it has my name on it and I haven't opened it because I don't want it to like go bad. I don't know, I just love it. It's a collector thing for me. So I decided to repurpose the Believe jar that I got and just basically put my samples in here that I plan on keeping. Some of them I'm gonna put in the giveaway that I'm currently doing. I will link that up for you guys to check out, but I just, I don't know, I don't need all these samples. So I decided that I was going to put my skincare basket here just because I couldn't find anything. I've tried like different things and I couldn't find anything that I loved that like sat there nice and pretty if that makes any sense. So I'm just putting like random things in the back. These can be moved. That's gonna be moved, okay. Just because like I didn't know, I didn't know what to put here. I did wind up opening the Glow Tonic because I just hated that it was in plastic, but now it's hidden. Ugh. 
I think I'm gonna keep it like that. Even though I don't use it, I can just move it if I need to, but it's cute, you can see it, it's a vibe. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I know that I look like a mess. I know I do, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, but we did it, we reorganized. I'm gonna kinda just show you, I did leave these up here, the collector things, because quite honestly, I have no freaking clue where to put them right now. But tell me what you guys think about what I did. Do you think I should move something? But I'm kind of living for it, and that was all up in my face. And I put my lip liners over here. I didn't do that on camera, but basically I just put them over here because I don't use them as much when they're over on that shelf. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. If you did like these vloggy, clean with me, do this with me, do that with me, then go ahead and let me know down below and I will get them up for you. This is like definitely the first time I've ever done something like this. So I really enjoyed it and I really had a lot of fun. So I hope you guys did too. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button for me. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do new videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on those and I don't always look this messy and sweaty. So as always guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.